Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to go over a very short article from Housing Wire. It's actually almost a week old. I meant to get to it sooner, but uh, just getting to it right now, um, I thought it was interesting. The title is Mortgage Delinquency Rate Falls to Lowest Level Since 1979. Uh, the subtitle is Economic Conditions Are Improving, Though Rising Delinquency Rates for Other Forms of Credit Point to Early Signs of Consumer Credit Stress. So the Mortgage Bankers Association, uh, basically they came out and they reported that mortgage delinquency rate actually fell to its lowest level since it began tracking the metric 43 years ago. So that is, uh, it's pretty shocking because home affordability has been um, challenged, I would say, for the past couple of years, um, especially the past year and a half because Home prices are still near all-time highs, but interest rates have risen dramatically uh, since the start of 2022. So basically, that just means, okay, home prices are high, interest rates are higher, uh, housing affordability is going to be lower unless uh, some people are making getting some significant raises at work. So... Um, you know, we have had very strong numbers in terms of uh, job reports and everything. And apparently it's, uh, you know, it's still a very resilient job market. And people, uh, especially homeowners, are continuing to make their mortgage payments. So the seasonally adjusted delinquency rate for one to four unit residential properties. So that's anything from a single family detached house, duplex, triplex, or quad. Um stood at 3.37% delinquency rates, uh, basically, in the second quarter this year. So that's down 27 basis points, or 0.27%, compared to the second quarter in 2022. And it's actually 19 points um, lower on a quarter-over-quarter -quarter basis uh, compared, compared to Q1 of this year. So they say that for mortgage types, delinquencies are actually down... For all types of mortgage types, um, conventional loans, FHA loans, and VA mortgages fell during the second quarter. The one little uh, caveat I would have here, and not not even regarding to that, it's actually for the next uh, line in the article, is that yes, delinquency rates for mortgage payments are at all-time lows, which is great, but we are still seeing some stress uh from homeowners or from consumers, I should say, in other forms of credit, including credit cards and car loans. Now, again, mortgage, it's, in order to have a mortgage, you have to be a homeowner, whereas you don't necessarily have to be a homeowner to have a credit card or a car loan. So that's not necessarily saying that, you know, homeowners are feeling more and more stress. It may be that renters are feeling more and more stress. But we are seeing delinquencies rising in those other forms of credit. Um, they did say, by the way, FHA delinquencies rose 10 basis points compared to the year earlier uh, for a quarter two, meaning, um, you know, we're instead of, say, FHA delinquencies were at 3.37 this quarter, uh, they were at 3.27 last year for the second quarter. Um, I don't know the actual rate because, again, this is just all delinquencies, not for only FHA loans. But that is going to be something to keep an eye for, eye out for, because typically, obviously, if you have delinquencies for FHA loans, um, that could that could spell trouble for those borrowers a lot sooner than it could be for somebody that bought with a conventional loan. The reason being is that most FHA loans are purchased using 3.5% for their down payment. So if they are starting to miss payments or they're underwater and they just bought the house last year, chances are the house hasn't gone up tremendously in value unless they forced value by remodeling you know, a kitchen, a bathroom, doing some updates, stuff like that. So they already don't have a ton of equity, even making a year's worth of payments um, on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Uh, the vast majority, say it's a $1,000 mortgage payment, 
you're probably paying almost $900 that first year each month uh, in interest only, not, not paying down the principal. So they're not going to have a ton of wiggle room. So if they're starting to miss payments, it's going to be very hard for them to be able to sell it on the open market because they're going to have real estate commissions, they're going to have title work fees, um, and that's where, uh, you know, if you do work with real estate agents that are able to, well, I don't, real estate agents, or if you have the cash that you could go to a homeowner direct and basically just pay their title costs, it might be beneficial for both parties. So. Just my thought. Um, of course, being a real estate agent, I always say that you should have a real estate agent in your corner. Uh, somebody to actually make sure things are being done correctly. But again, sometimes uh, people are put in bad spots where they literally can't even afford to do that. So just something to keep an eye out for. Um, again, I thought it was an interesting article just because we've been hearing about, you know, an impending recession for nearly two years now and this job market has been extremely resilient um, you know unemployment numbers are low inflation's coming down uh, so it's just kind of interesting to see where this might be heading uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out i'd be happy to talk with you whether it's uh especially regarding the housing market in northeast ohio otherwise have a great day